Hi class, Mac Engel here for the Fort Worth Star Telegram. I'm here officially on day one of my Texas football adventure. I'm very excited about this because it's four games in four days for a book that I'll be working on that will be due out sometime next year. Beginning tonight, I'll go to the Indianapolis Colts against the Houston Texans. But before then, I decided to come to the high school home of the current quarterback of the Indianapolis Colts, and that is Stratford High School and Daryl Tully Stadium. As you can tell, this is a massive complex, but it's not the biggest Texas high school football stadium. As to the biggest, that's sort of up for debate. It can be the Toyota Center in Frisco. It's sort of what you actually think of is just for high school football. Recently in nearby Katy, nearby being Houston Katy, recently it passed, passed a measure for a new football stadium. How much money? About $50 million, which is an obscene amount of money, but nowhere near the $70 million that Allen appropriated several years ago. A stadium that was so well built, it was closed after its first year because of faulty construction. Good job. You know, one of the great things about traveling around the state and seeing all of its various homes for football, whether it's professional, college, or high school, is that I was thinking, you know, what Katie needs to do is spend more money on a high school football stadium. Education is irrelevant. Certainly we don't need more roads and public transportation is obviously a waste of time. What we need are more expensive places to watch teenagers play football. Well done, Katie. 